In this example, we're asked to prove that a statement is false, actually. We want to find a counterexample to the statement that every positive integer can be written as a sum of the squares of three integers. Okay, so if we're asked to find a counterexample, that tells us right away that this statement itself is going to be false. So remember that if you want to prove that a statement, especially a universal statement, this says every every positive integer can be written this way. If you want to prove that a universal statement is false, then you need simply one counterexample because the negation of a universal is an existential. Right? So I'll write this down. Remember this that if you want to negate a universal statement, this is logically equivalent to the existence of the negation of the statement itself. And so this right here, this is our counterexample. Or this is the, the theory of the counterexample. All right, so what do we have to do? Well, we have to produce a number which cannot be written as the sum of the squares of three integers. Well, the integers include zero, right? So if we start with one, one is equal to one plus zero plus zero, check. All right, so I'm gonna do this just by exhaustive method. By the way, this, the, in, the squares of the integers are zero, one, um, four, right, nine, etc. We're not going to have to go that far, but um, these are the sums, these, sorry, these are the squares of the integers. So even if you have negative one or negative two, you, ha you go zero, one, four, nine, etc. right? So let's see, can we write, so zero obviously, th this is positive integers, so we don't have to worry about zero. Two is equal to one plus one plus zero, so that's a check. This is called the exhaustive method. All right, I'm just searching I'm just searching for a counterexample. 3 is obviously 1 plus 1 plus 1. 4 is 4 plus 0 plus 0, so that's good. 5 is 4 plus 1 plus 0. We see how this is going, right? 6 is 4 plus 1 plus 1, and then we get to 7. Well, 7 is 4 plus 1 plus 2, 4 plus 3 plus 0. Can't be done, right? So this one cannot be written as a sum of just three uh, squares because you would need a four plus one plus another one. Um, and there's no way to get that from our list over here. And the next highest number here is nine, right? Uh, we could get eight, by the way, four plus four plus zero, um, but that's too big as well, right? So this cannot be written as a sum of three squares. All right, so we didn't have to go too far. Seven is our counterexample. This shows that the statement is in general false, okay? Um, yeah, so that's it, that's all we need. Now, sometimes it, ex the exhaustive method is truly exhausting. This one didn't take us too much work, right? I didn't put my check marks here. But this one didn't take us all that much work and it wasn't that hard to think through. Um, but sometimes the exhaustive method would truly would be exhausting, like I said. Um, where you would either then want a computer or you would want to try to, to think of your counterexample another way. But this right here proves that not every integer can be written as a sum of three squares.